Bruce Chappelle, and joining me today is Mr. Bill Hayfley. It's uh, October the 3rd, Saturday, October the 3rd. Thank you, Mr. Hayfley, for being with us today and sharing your memories with us. I um, understand you want to talk a little bit about the Lions Club. Um, maybe you could start by telling us a thing or two about where you were born and, and growing up in Carroll County leading up to that. Okay. I was born in Frizzleburg okay. uh, in 1929, so I'm, I'm 80 years old. And uh, I moved to Westminster from Frizzleburg in uh, 1936. And my dad worked for the Carroll County School Board. Mm -hmm. He was the maintenance man and delivered all the material and did all the repair work for close to 50 years before he retired. Oh, wow. But uh, when he lived in Westminster, he belonged to the Westminster Lions Club. And then uh, I worked for Baltimore Gas and Electric in Baltimore for 37 years, except for two years during the Korean War, which has served. And then uh, the last five years with the company, I was made the supervisor of the office in Westminster. And at that time in 1975, I joined the Westminster Lions Club. And uh, it's been a good, long, hard 30-some <laughs> years since then sure. to serve the community in which we live. Absolutely. Uh, one of my first assignments in the Lions Club when uh, Mr. Scott Bear was our original president mm -hmm. of the club, mm -hmm. and uh, I got to know Scott pretty well. And uh, he used to finance our choice of Christmas baskets that we used to assemble and deliver to the needy families in the Westminster area. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never took anything for granted, but when I would call Mr. Bear and ask him, because he financed the whole operation himself personally. Oh, wow. I asked him if he was going to do it again this year. He'd always say, you just go ahead and buy whatever you need mm -hmm. and let my secretary know and give her the bills, and I'll take care of it. So that was really a, a good gesture on his part to continue to serve the community as long as he lived. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I worked on different projects in the, in the Lions Club. Mm -hmm. That uh, we always had fundraisers, and we used to have a Christmas treat for the children up at the Carroll County Theater mm -hmm. on a Saturday. They would always have a movie, and then after the movie, when they would come out of the theater, we would supply each and every child who attended with a gift and fruit and uh, candy uh, that they could take home with them. That's and uh, that was always a good event. Absolutely. Okay. Um, any other experiences that you'd like to share with us about growing up in Carroll County or, or places that you lived or other places that you worked, what it well, was like I've, in the I've, war? I uh, moved for about 10 years from Westminster down to Bethel Road. Okay. And uh, that's when I had my two children grow up and went to Sandy Mount School mm -hmm. until when they finished school, then I moved back to Westminster and then they attended high schools. Uh, my oldest daughter now works for Balmer Gas and Electric okay. since when I worked there during the time that I did, relatives couldn't work for the company. Oh, okay. But by the time that I retired, they relaxed the rule, and then she was able to get a job there when I retired. Mm -hmm. My youngest daughter is a registered nurse, and uh, she has my two grandchildren out in Aspen, Colorado. 
and uh, she works for the county school system out there as a nurse. And her husband is a pastor of a church out there. Mm -hmm. And my oldest daughter's husband was a professor of really foreign language, particularly Spanish, mm -hmm. at Western Maryland College till he retired three years ago. Okay. So that that's, brings us up to date to where I am family. now. Um, what can you tell us, if you're willing to share, about um, serving uh, for the military and fighting the Korean War? What what years did you serve? And, and Well, I served from 1951 to 53. Mm -hmm. okay. I started out naturally at Fort Meade, mm -hmm. and then they shipped me from Fort Meade to what was then Camp Gordon, Georgia, which is right outside of Augusta, for basic training. Mm -hmm. And I was in the Signal Corps, the Third Army Signal Corps. And uh, the Army seemed to think, since I worked for Baltimore Gas and Electric, that uh, I could climb poles <laughs> and string wires, which I had never done in my life. But I soon learned to do that oh, when, wow. you, when you had to do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, after training there, and the, they shipped me from Georgia to Camp Cook, California, mm -hmm. and I finished my infantry training there. And uh, I was there for six months. And then uh, I got orders that I was, I was going to Korea. So they transferred me from Camp Cook, which is now Vandenberg Air Force Base, okay. to San Francisco Presidio, which is Sixth Army Headquarters. Mm -hmm. And through my records of having worked at Balmer Gas and Electric and having IBM experience, they pulled me out of my outfit that I was going with and kept me at the Sixth Army Headquarters in San Francisco, and I was there for an additional 15 months. But during that time, I asked for a furlough to go home because I had become engaged mm -hmm. before I went into service. And uh, I had two weeks, and I got married while I was That's on really a neat. furlough and took my wife back to California with me. And then uh, she lived off base and worked in San Francisco at a private company, oh, and then that that was I finished my term of service mm -hmm. there, and then came back home. Yeah, yeah. right. So you, when, you I was, guys... when I was discharged in 1953, okay, and I was 23 years old. Wow, wow. Um, is there anything else in particular that you can think of that that you'd like to talk about or share with us? Well, it's a lot of things, but I don't want to <laughs> keep repeating myself but all the different projects that you know we sure. do with the Lions Club. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was president of the club in 1988 and 89, okay. and uh, I brought several new members into the club. And one of the older members I brought in was Ray Corbin, who was our magic experienced, I don't know what you would call a magician mm -hmm. here in Carroll County. Of course, he was kind of world famous because he went all over the world mm -hmm. doing his job, yeah. so to <laughs> his speak. Act. Yeah. But uh, that, that's... A lot of memorable experiences. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Okay, well, I, I thank you, Mr. Hayfley, for, for uh, taking time to share your memories with us. Okay. And, uh, appreciate uh, it. Thank you for inviting me.